nutritional benefit is way better. More omega-3s, more vitamin D, more vitamin E, and more important. Okay, I thought for sure I had already debunked this video, but I just realized that him and the Clean Kitchen Nutrition guy are basically the same person and they make the same videos making the exact same false claims. So uh, let me show you the video where I debunked the same false claims from that other person. Pasture raised eggs have twice as much vitamin E, 38% more vitamin All right, so this is a great example of why we need to understand absolute differences and not just relative differences. So this summary he found is based off of one single study done at Penn State in 2010. They compared nutritional differences in eggs from different pasture treatments to caged eggs as well. So first, twice as much vitamin E. Two times more than what? This isn't telling you much without telling you the actual numbers. Pasture raised had 1.3 IUs. Caged had 0.65 IUs. Daily value of vitamin E is 22.5 IUs. Eggs are not a significant source of vitamin E to begin with, and this is not a significant difference. 38% more vitamin A. If you look at the study, that was based on 100 grams of egg yolks. Per egg, the vitamin A is actually the same. This is actually stated right in the study. 2.5 times more omega-3s. Again, more than what? Aged eggs average around 25 milligrams per egg, which means pastured would be around 62 milligrams. These are not a significant source of omega-3s, and it's not a significant difference. Always look at the data. Thanks guys, you're making this really easy for me. In addition, a much larger study showed no difference in vitamin A, vitamin E, and cholesterol between caged and range eggs. Oh, he also stated this. only live outside the chickens. They're free to forage on grass, bugs, and worms. That All right, so pasture raised does not mean that they are only outside and there is no industry-wide uh, regulation regarding that term. There are some third-party certifiers which specify a certain amount of area for each chicken but that includes indoor and outdoor space and it's not a bad thing that they aren't outside 100% of the time either. Choose what you prefer and you have access to if you want to support a specific farming method or local farm absolutely do that but um, to say that these are significantly more nutritious just isn't true and also what he's saying pasture raised means um, isn't actually what it means either.